my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise Alright, so let's go to Photoshop and then click on create new and then type 1000 pixels here, 1000 pixels here, choose pixels. Um, you can leave this to 72, doesn't really matter. And then uh, make sure yes, also RGB selected. Click on create. First thing we are going to do is we are going to bring our image. I am going to leave all these resources in the description for you to download. So once we have it here like this, we are going to change the color because the color of our model brick orange and so we want it to also have that particular feel over here. So the first thing we will do is we'll pick this quick selection tool, we'll select this part. Show sure, everything selected, and then we click on Ctrl J to duplicate it for us. You come back and then you click here, go over here and look for hue and saturation, clip it to it. All right, so you can clip it to it, and then set the hue to one six two. Let's set the saturation to. 33 and let's set the lightness to let's say 14 okay so it's beginning to look like the color we're talking about go and then you can now bring your image and then drop it in there pull it up a little bit drop it in there let's drag the image up and then right click and then click on quit clipping mask this way it pinch it to the design that we created this design all right so we can see it's inside there we want to also make sure the image is in the middle so let's make sure auto select is off click over here and then if you cannot move it is because you haven't clicked on your move to make sure you click on your move to you move it make sure it's somewhere in the middle like this this is good okay So now that we have our image in the very beautiful, let's click on Control Shift Alt and then um, hit on the E key as well, and then everything is going to be compressed into one layer for us to use. And so with this selected, come back and click here, and then somewhere around here, want to select it that way, select it this way. By the way, I used this particular tool, the rectangular marquee tool, so I use this one. And then you also want to make sure you see this selection. So you go here, select, and then you go to save selection. Let's name the selection image select, image select, and let's just click on OK. All right, so now there is it. Click on Control J. To duplicate it for us the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to push the image over here a little bit so that i could have much detail over here put some text over here as well so there's not much space here so now that we can we have this one selected let's move it let's move it to the left side okay so now there's much space over here let's mute this one let's make it invisible you can see um, there's not much space now there's much space but the background is still there background is still there so we need to make sure we get rid of the background and that is why we saved the selection go back to select go to load selection and then click on um, click on select image so you go to channel you click on image select that is how we saved our document right click on ok the selection comes back again click on this particular image go to edit go to content aware for or content I will fill we want the image to disappear and so you can see it over here uh, images disappear so you click on OK and so this is how we have it control D to make sure our selection disappears so now we have it like this click over here and then we have this one also you can see the 
the picture around it looks kind of weird so click here and then give it a mask select a brush let's select soft this kind of brush and then make sure black is selected also make sure opacity is 100 and then the flow is 100 then let's zoom in a little bit okay increase the size click here hold shift come and click around here also click here hold shift come and click around here click here hold shift come and click around here it uh, looks good say so it looks good now it looks good now okay so now this is how it looks we could push it to the left a little bit if we want to well, i think this looks good all right so now we can now put our image here let's put all of these into folders ctrl g and then let's call it image awesome so now we can bring our text let's first bring our happy birthday drop it somewhere in here resize it let's resize it a little bit push it up here somewhere <laughs> Awesome, Ctrl T. Um, pull your ruler. If your rulers are not there, just basically click on Ctrl and then R. They would show up. It would just pop up like that from the from the thing. <laughs> you click on it and then you, you drag it in here. Make sure it's also in the middle and you leave it. Okay. Click on Enter. Right click here. And then let's go to Color Overlay. Drag it up a little bit. Let's go to color overlay. Click here and then type you want to use this color. Click on OK. So this is the color we would like to use. Mm, looks good. Use your move uh, your text tool, click and then go and pick Porsche. Let me type it there. Now, if you're wondering what font I'm using, I'm using Barnet. Barnet. I will leave it in the description for you as well, so you need not to worry. Uh, also, make sure you click on this centered. All right. Now, Control T, and let's make sure it is centered where the rule is. Centered nicely. This is good. Click here. The color pick this also make sure the size is one one two and also make sure the tracking is zero very important make sure this is not selected this is also not selected like this all right so with that you are good to go double click this side and then let's go to drop shadow uh, set it to multiply set it to black then opacity to 75 let's set the angle to 30 percent the distance let's set it at five spread five size five and that is all also make sure you take use global light then you click on ok and so let's see how it looks it looks, it looks great duplicate it by clicking ctrl j let's close it let's close it Let's close it. All right. Then um, click on your move tool and then drag it down. Then we can type Equia. Equia. In Ghana, Equia is a Wednesday bond. It's a name given to Wednesday bonds. And so also make sure it's centered nicely. Then um, nice here. Yeah this is so so nice so we are going to basically leave it like that but we're going to change the the size of the font to 72 mm -hmm. it's still centered right yeah and then let's push it up a little bit Control j to duplicate it bring it down and then let's type kunedu kunedu type it there Let's make sure it's centered. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. 
So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you design this kind of birthday flyer. Uh, the client was saying that she wanted it this way. She wanted uh, a living room with her image on the wall kind of design. So this is how I did it for her. So please hit the subscribe button, comment as well, and then don't forget to hit the bell icon. I love you all. Peace out.